What's poppin' people? Welcome back. I know we're in a different location than usual, but today I'm here with Rada. Rada wave. We're screen recording. So like today we were doing something a little different. It's also Father's Day coming up, so we figured she's gonna help me bake a cake because I don't cook. So this is kind of a new experience. We'll see how this goes. We're gonna be making a rhubarb upside down cake. I've already got all my ingredients, as you can see over here. We got a bunch of my ingredients already set up, which is just great. We're gonna go for it. Just before we get into the video, make sure to subscribe, turn on my post notifications, and drop a huge like on the video. Also check out my Instagram to let me know about the cover of the week. Yeah, all right, let's get into it. Okay, so we already have all of our ingredients. We've got, for the toppings, we've got four tablespoons of unsalted butter, melted, one half cup of all-purpose flour, one fourth cup of sugar, and coarse salt. We've got all that, we've got the flour, butter here, sugar, and salt. So we've got a huge yeah. thing of sugar over here. Definitely got some salt, some coarse salt. Okay, first things first, we have to preheat the oven to 350 degrees and make the topping. Okay, so let's preheat the oven. Once we've preheated the oven, which we just started doing, okay, make the topping. We need to stir together butter, flour, sugar, and one fourth of a teaspoon salt until moist and crumbly. Okay, it's got our mixing bowl. Okay, so we got our mixing bowl here. As for the topping ingredients, we need four tablespoons of unsalted butter melted. So there, okay, so first things first, we want our butter. We got our pan. We're gonna put some butter in here. Peel the butter and put it in the pan. Weep. Wow, that was a big hunk of butter. Okay, so we got it in our pan. It's starting to melt here. Ooh. Take our butter. Pour it in there. Ooh, it smells so buttery. Is that normal? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Now we got that in there. We need to add one half cup of all-purpose flour. So we got our flour, but let's find the one half cup. One half cup, going in there. One fourth a cup of sugar. Okay, got our sugar. Next. Next we need one fourth teaspoon of salt until moist and crumbly. One fourth teaspoon, I found it. Okay, so we got our one fourth teaspoon. We're gonna take our salt. Okay, and add our salt in there. Stir it all together. Yeah. That worked. Okay, we gotta stir this all together. It's moist and crumbly. This is like, this just looks moist. Plain moist. Looking pretty good. It's not a lot. So we wanna butter up a nine inch round pan cake pan. So gotta go find that. Got our pan. Okay. Got it. I think we're making the batter. That's the thing. In the pan. I don't, I don't know. Okay, so essentially what dot means is we have to cut up the butter and then put it, cut it into little chunks and put it like on the bottom of the pan. Okay, and I guess we want to cut into little chunks, so we'll just cut little, little slices. Toss rhubarb with three-fourths cup of sugar and let stand for two minutes. Okay, so the cutting of the rhubarb. Alright guys, I'm finally done. 
I need to put this in a regular bowl. I'm really stupid. I was cutting them individually until finally, until the last two, I realized I could cut them in bunches. So I'm just stupid. So we got this bigger bowl. I'm gonna dump these in here. One cup, two, three. Okay, I'm supposed to mix this together. And spread it in the pan. Okay, whisk together flour, baking powder, and one and one half teaspoon of salt. this stuff. Guys, now we gotta slice this lemon. Get a half table, uh, one tablespoon out of it. Oh. Now that we've done that, we need to spread over this topping. Okay, I hope I did this right. <laughs> I feel like I really didn't, but that's okay. Um, bake until a toothpick inserted into the center comes out clean. The top springs back when touched. All right, now we wait an hour. All right guys, so I pulled it out of the oven. Essentially it looks like this. I think it's good, I don't know. All right people, so I thought I'd do a little funny update. So I realized once I got the cake out of the thing, it took forever to cook for whatever reason. And I did make a mistake. I made a bowl full of like the flour and the main like mixture, right? And I was supposed to pour that into the mixing thing, the, <laughs> the beater, but I put like the same ingredients, except it was missing the, so basically like I poured another cup of flour and another yeah, I just poured more flour in and ignored the bowl because I forgot it was there. And that way I didn't put the salt and, or baking powder, so... Um, <laughs> my cake didn't turn out so great. Um, here, I'll show you guys. This is my cake. <laughs> um, it sort of kind of fell apart, but that's okay. I mean, it, <laughs> it looks like a pile of, you know, it looks like a pile of crap. So, um... <laughs> You know, we live and we learn, guys. Yeah, so first time around making a cake didn't turn out so great. And it was all because I made one tiny mistake. I missed two ingredients and they were like, it was like a half a teaspoon of that ingredient and it ruined the whole thing. So, uh, yeah. Yeah, just know, guys, you should probably really, really, really read the directions carefully because, you know, it's still gonna taste great, I think. Like, it still tastes pretty good. Here, I'm gonna, I'm gonna take a little piece. Mmm. Mmm. It still tastes very good, but the shape is a little distorted. Yeah, so that's how it turned out. <laughs> um, so yeah, make sure to subscribe, turn on my post notifications, drop a huge like on the video if you enjoyed. Definitely let me know what I should bake in the future. I'd love to do this again, even though it was a lot of work for this pile of cake, I guess. <laughs> so yeah, just, yeah, do all that and let me know. Peace.